Hi guys, welcome back to the Penguin Palace Stamps YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be featuring the Dots Meet Dashes standalone dies, and they come in large and also the small. So you can either use it by itself or you can use both sets together to create different sized frames. And then also I still have some colored images from a previous project and that is from the stamp set The More We Get Together. So let's get started on putting this card together. So this is the large dots meet dashes a standalone die and I cut out three of the uh, rectangle sizes there. It's the large, the small, and then the I think the third die from the largest. Anyway, so I wanted to go with a C theme, so I picked a couple of these um, Distress uh, ink colors, and then I ended up only using three of those colors. I didn't use tumbled glass. I used faded jeans, uh, peacock feathers, pista uh, cracked pistachio, and then let's see, yeah, those three. Those are the three I used. I didn't use tumbled glass. So I basically kept the lighter colors in the center and then faded jeans on the outside. So I just kept on layering, making sure everything was blended and bright in the center. And then also, after coloring the large one, I ended up coloring uh, the other two sizes and um, I eventually uh, cut the center portion of that cardstock out so I should have just focused on the outside but it's okay um, I just wanted to color the uh, whole uh, rectangle so yeah so that is the completed uh, cardstock shapes and then here I am cutting out the center to make a shaker frame and this is the dots meet dashes small uh, standalone die so if you use uh, what the large set to create the frames by itself you get a thicker frame if you uh, use the large and the small dies together you can get a quarter inch frame so now I am adhering the large piece to the base of my card a two size four and a quarter by five and a half and then um, since it's a, a C theme I wanted to add some white dots some um, like splatters on it and then here I'm just testing out like the kind of splatter I want and I'm using a spray from Lindy Stamp Gang and yeah it has a white base but it has a little bit of like a teal sparkle you can't really see it in the video but it's there so I go ahead and splatter some of that um, formula onto my card and here I'm just uh, tapping off or wiping off the excess so that's what it looks like and then those are the frames I also ended up cutting some acetate sheets to cover the uh, shaker window so now I don't adhere the acetate sheet to the frame just yet because I use the frame as a guide to start assembling my scene together so again here are the images from the more we get together stamp set and I have a previous video where I colored most of these images already and I'll link that in the description box below so I'm just taking some leftover colored elements from that stamp set and then just creating my little scenes in each of the window boxes so here added some seaweed some coral and then this cute little critter on top of that like a uh, coral or sandcastle and then um, there's a pair of I guess uh, cuttlefish that are in that stamp set and I colored those two and I'm going to be uh, gluing those on top of the window frame there so you see I go ahead and add the acetate sheet to close up that window frame and then next I'm going to adhere the sentiment wanna cuddle because they're cuttlefish and I just stamped it on some white cardstock and cut out like a little fish tail banner and then here I'm going to adhere the cuttlefish images to the top of that shaker window so that is the first scene and then also I have more colored images that I had uh, 
colored and cut out and I'm going to adhere those to the actual base of the card creating like a little scene on the left bottom left and then also on the uh, mid right side there and then I go ahead and use that small frame as a guide to start gluing some elements inside that shaker frame there and so there's a different type of seaweed and then a small um, coral stem there and then they have this uh, jellyfish images on that stamp set that I had colored and then I went ahead and um, adhere the acetate sheet to that small uh, shaker window and then I don't think I'm going to add any more bigger elements to that scene inside so I go ahead and glue those uh, jellyfish to the front of that shaker window and then lastly on the base I go ahead and um, glue the bottom scene bottom left scene down and then I add some uh, of those goldfish images. That uh, rock right there, that uh, gray rock, that's actually, you can also color it to be um, like a iceberg, but I chose to color it as a rock. So those are pretty much the images that I used and I'm pretty much done, but then I still had some leftover elements from another stamp set and it's from the uh, mermaid uh, stamp called Hot Mama. It's these cute uh, little floor images, so I colored them in like a lavender lilac color and then also a teal color. So I go ahead and adhere those to the coral stems and I just wanted to add a little bit more interest to those and just fill up those um, shaker window scenes. So then that's pretty much it. Everything is already adhered and then now I'm going to add some foam adhesive tape to the back of the shaker windows. So then uh, for the inside of the shaker I'm going to add some clear micro beads and also some blue hexagon sequins. So with the micro beads it's a little bit tricky because they are round and really 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 tiny so they start to roll off the card but I go ahead and try to center that and I add some of the blue sequins and then um, I go ahead and place that small uh, shaker window on top and then I have a little bit of the uh, coral or seaweed image sticking out but I ended up uh, trimming that off and fixing it so now you can't see it and then for the inside I decided to create like a little barrier like a wall with the blue sequins and then I go ahead and put those micro beads in the center so that keeps it from actually rolling off the card so then finally I go ahead and peel off the um, adhesive backing and center my shaker window over that uh, little scene there and and then I think lastly, I don't know, I still I guess I wasn't done with the card because I went ahead and added one more uh, coral uh, image to the top of that window here. I'm just trying to figure out where I want to add it, but I ended up putting it right at the end of the sentiment. So that completes my card. I hope you guys enjoyed this video featuring the dots meet dashes standalone dies and then thanks for watching and I'll see you soon bye